All right, so um, I've got only five minutes, but uh, I actually wanted to show a bunch of things. Uh, so let me try and see if I can just speed through it. Um, to, to start off, uh, it's, we, I was trying uh, a few things with some of the network devices that we've been working on uh, recently at Cisco. So uh, to give you a quick background, I, I'm a technical marketing engineer at Cisco, and uh, some of the new network devices that we are bringing out are uh, basically just based off uh, base Linux. And uh, they're able to run uh, containers, Docker, LXEs, et cetera, so that you can potentially host whatever applications you need. And uh, one of the applications, of course, that we wanted to look at was uh, try, trying to run something like a Meso slave and see if we can hook it back into uh, a data center and see if it becomes useful. Um, so the, the framework that I've built for this uh, purpose is called um, COS on or QS on, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the idea is that I want to handle network degradation uh, in the network uh, without really relying on the myopic view that uh, the server might have. So uh, there is uh, a lot of information that you get from the, the network itself in terms of how uh, different devices are placed what their roles are and uh, how they can be used to provide telemetry data, which can then affect where you uh, put your applications on the server cluster and also determine uh, SDN uh, events that you might need. So uh, quick summary, um, I've got Marathon running. Uh, it's going to deploy an app on one of the racks. Mm -hmm. And uh, essentially, this is the overall network until it goes out to the service provider land. So there is a TOR switch, a top of rack switch, uh, which effectively corresponds to a single rack. So they, uh, that is the path that's being taken currently because of the, where the app's uh, scheduled. But the problem is that if there is network degradation, and I don't mean network reachability issues, but stuff like uh, lower bandwidth, uh, jitter, uh, or uh, any other latency issues that you might have that can potentially be determined from the network device. All of that uh, could uh, pretty much amount to a network degradation problem uh, around the path. Now, if you have uh, problems in different uh, parts of the network, then the problem that arises for the application is that uh, you don't really test for uh, the placement of an app based on the performance of the network, and therefore, un until you use out-of-bound systems to figure out what's actually happening with the performance of the application, you don't know that the network is affecting it. So the idea, therefore, was that uh, I'll build a separate framework which will run alongside Marathon, and uh, it will essentially take uh, inputs, much like CPU, memory, disk resources that you have for an application that Marathon takes, uh, you will define stuff like packet loss, bandwidth, or jitter requirements, and those will be used to effectively run distributed telemetry uh, uh, tasks on all the network devices on a per application basis. And uh, once I do that, you uh, basically have the opportunity of either moving uh, an app completely to a different rack based on where you want to place it simply because uh, that, that particular TOR switch is not performing properly. And in that case, I can use the constraints on Marathon to change and update an app and thereby restart it. Or uh, I can go ahead and talk to an SDN controller sitting uh, outside, which can actually uh, figure out how my service provider uh, network might converge better. Because if the gateway is screwed, then all your racks are screwed. So it doesn't matter. right? So in that case, a role of a network device would determine the action that you would want to take. So um, OK, let me quickly jump into uh, the demo. Uh, and hopefully it just works. It's completely live, so let's see how this works out. Um, all right, so anyway, the code's uh, already on GitHub. You can check it out later. Uh, it's by the same name. Um, I've got the, the Mesos master up and running. And in terms of the frameworks, I just have Marathon right now that's associated with the Mesos master. And there is no app running currently. Um, at the same time, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'll go ahead and run, um, I'll start my uh, framework, which is going to hook on to Mesos and will wait for applications to be scheduled on Marathon. So I start the, uh, I start the framework. It's going to uh, essentially expect attributes from network devices which define the role as well as the, uh, the, the type of device that they are. 
So that helps it determine the action that it wants to take once telemetry data has come out. So I've got that running and uh, then I start uh, basically an application client which will take JSON data to schedule an app on Marathon and on uh, Coson. So uh, this is my data. You can quickly see that I've got bandwidth, packet loss, jitter requirements that uh, I've specified here. And I'm going to use uh, iperf as the tool. You could use whatever tool you want, but that's effectively going to run as a task for on the network device. And I'm going to use that to meet this criteria. So I'll quickly run that. And once I have that running, what will happen is that uh, this is my framework running here. And uh, at the same time, Mar Marathon's gone ahead and uh, of course created this particular application. Right now it exists on rack one. And uh, in terms of uh, my course on framework, it's now running monitoring tasks. As you can see, it's going to continuously run them as long as the app is active to give you uh, uh, actual data requirements. And uh, the last part, what I'm going to do is, uh, because the app is currently running on Rack 2, let me actually fiddle around with Tor 2, which corresponds to Rack 2, and uh, uh, effectively toggle the interface to affect the uh, telemetry data. And and if you see here, so what's uh, yeah? So what's essentially happened is that because of the flipping of the interfaces, uh, the constraint that was applied on the uh, uh, on the app effectively pushed it to rack two instead of rack one, and uh, the deployment phase basically makes sure that the entire application is now restarting and moving to a new rack. Uh, that's for the Tor. I would do pretty much uh, the same thing for the gateway, but in that case, I'm going to use the SDN controller for it, which I don't have the time for. So, um, yeah, thank you. And if you have any questions, please you can head over to the booth, uh, the Cisco booth. I can help answer some questions. <laughs>